Meat Boy is back and today you guys can call me Chef Boy because I am making my dish from Master Chef. This is a lobster scallop noodle with a reduced lobster bisque sauce and a sauterne zabayon, uh, which is like a whipped up honey egg yolk mixture. I was unable to execute the dish on the show due to a bunch of reasons. I, you know, didn't sleep for two weeks when I was out there. That's when my health issues started. You know, I filleted my hand open three times during the challenge and I was still pretty close to getting it done. This is a recipe I came up with myself after seeing a famous French chef, Raymond Blanc, make a lobster scallop quenelle. So a quenelle is like a spoonful of a puree of protein and you post that in liquid so if I didn't want to make noodles or if I wanted this to be a little easier you know I could just do like little balls of fish as opposed to the noodle shape so let me show you guys the ingredients this is a bit more involved than my other recipes but it's still pretty simple so for the noodles we need a lobster and the shell of the lobster is also going to go in the sauce uh, here I have some scallops so the noodles are equal parts scallops and lobster we're gonna put one egg white in there and then we're gonna put a little bit of salt and some lemon zest for the reduced lobster bisque you need a stock ideally you'd have some lobster stock some shellfish stock but if you're buying something from the store you know chicken broth is ideal everything here is organic uh, we have the classic French mirepoix you know organic onion celery carrot bay leaf and thyme super duper classic you know vegetables to reinforce the flavor of the stock and by putting the shells of the lobster in there that's going to really add a lot of flavor if you want you can put some leeks in there i didn't see any decent looking leeks at my supermarket so after we get all of these ingredients together in the pot in the pot we're going to deglaze it with some wine and then we'll add the broth a little bit later everything's going to be cooked in butter and then to finish off the lobster bisque, we're gonna add some raw cream. The zabayon is going to be made after everything's almost put together. So the zabayon is gonna be the egg yolks that we didn't use for the noodles, some honey, as well as some of this wine. So normally I would use a sauterne, which is a sweet wine, but you could really use any wine for this recipe. This is actually a cider, and the honey that I'm using is just a raw Italian honey. On MasterChef, I only had half an hour to do this, so I'm gonna do this in real time. I think I can bang it out in about half an hour. You know, most of the time is spent waiting for the wine and the chicken stock to reduce. So first things first, I need to poach the lobster so I can take the meat out of the shell and then puree the raw meat to make the paste for the noodles. So for the lobster, I'm just gonna shove the knife behind his head. Kills him as quickly as possible and he goes into the pot of water that's boiling. While the lobster is poaching really quickly, I wanna get my vegetables chopped up. So I'm gonna put some butter in the pot, get that melting. The vegetables don't need to be a fine dice. They're just for flavoring the stock. Obviously you don't want the vegetables to be too big because if the vegetables are too big, they're not gonna cook quickly enough to do this in 30 minutes. So this is gonna be equal parts celery and carrot. The celery in there. I'm gonna take my lobster out. And I wanna run this under cold water because I don't want the meat to cook. Lobster's cooling off. Carrots and celery are sauteing in here. I gotta chop two part onion to one part of each of those. And then this needs to stay boiling for the noodles in a few minutes. If I was doing this challenge again, I would have honestly just pureed all of these vegetables in the food processor and then thrown it in the pot. But since I have to use the food processor for the fish too, can't really clean it in between. Onion, carrot, celery on high heat. I'm gonna add a little more butter to speed this up. We just wanna brown all these vegetables and get as much color as quickly as possible. While the vegetables are going, I need to get the meat out of this lobster. Do this under a towel so you don't get water everywhere. So the lobster meat is still raw on the inside, which is what we need for the puree. Take the raw meat out, 
and the shells go into the pot with the vegetables. So now, with the tail meat, I'm just gonna twist it and pull. Then I'm gonna cut the tail down the middle. If you guys are on a raw carnivore diet, you know, you could still do lobster, you just have to poach it first. You know, beautiful raw lobster. Okay, shells in the pot. So in here is the tamale, the liver, some of the lobster organs. These are actually really tasty and delicious. Uh, so if you wanna eat these separately, you can. I'm just gonna, you know, cut this in half and throw it in the pot with the vegetables. Add extra flavor. So the vegetables are nice and brown. We don't need to cook the lobster shell anymore. So I'm gonna take this off the heat for a second. Pop off my bottle of cider. I'm gonna add about a cup of cider, wine, whatever you have. And we just wanna cook off that wine. That's gonna take a few minutes. A hefty pinch of salt to season this. While the cider is reducing, we're gonna make the pasta really quick. So in here, as you can see, is the lobster meat. We're gonna add equal parts scallop. One egg white. And in a quenelle, you can normally add cream, but since we're making noodles, the cream will make it fall apart. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to this. Now I'm gonna grate some lemon zest in here. I'm gonna blend this up. You see how it's kinda like, like staying in one spot? That means that we formed an emulsion. If you take a look at this, it's like sticking to itself, which is what we want. So we're gonna take this and put it in a pastry bag, but the wine has reduced all the way. So now I'm gonna add two cups of chicken stock. Heat's been on high this whole time. Really scrape up the flavor from the bottom of the pot. So after you add the chicken broth, you wanna add your aromatic. So we have the thyme and the bay leaf. Keep in mind guys, I'm doing this in a rush. You know, you could spend a lot more time on this recipe. You know, you could simmer this for a longer period of time. But this is meant to be done in half an hour. That's why everything's on high heat. Now we're gonna take our mixture, spoon it into the pastry bag. I'm gonna put this in the freezer for a few minutes while we get the ingredients for the zabayone ready. Zabayone, very simple. It's just gonna be four egg yolks on a quarter cup of wine. Then we need a quarter cup of honey. Just a pinch of salt. Now this is ready to be whisked. First, we're gonna make our noodles. If I was doing this recipe now, I would definitely not make noodles. I would just do quenelles, you know, little balls that are easy to cook because the noodles just fall apart. Uh, we're gonna try to do the noodles today, so we have the pot of boiling water. I have a strainer here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pipe the noodles into the water in the strainer. And then after about five seconds, see they're already falling apart. It's very, very delicate. And that's pretty much what I serve to the judges on MasterChef. So in reality, to do this gastronomy stuff, I have to add some type of binder, maybe agar agar, something that would allow this to stick together. So the traditional way, the quenelle, is much simpler. You take a spoonful of the mixture, and you put that spoonful in the water, and we're gonna let that poach. Here's another one. Just a quenelle into the water. So here we have our three quenelles. The lobster stock is reducing beautifully. Already nice and dark colored. This is almost done. Let's make this avion. So we have our pot of boiling water. 
the egg yolks, the wine, honey mixture here. And we're just gonna start whisking. And don't be afraid to take this off the heat. So what we're doing is we're incorporating air into this and it's gonna turn into a foam basically, a stable foam. You know, normally you'll see a zabayon in an Italian restaurant, you know, poured over berries for dessert. But if you add a little bit of acidity, a little bit of lemon juice to the dish, it really cuts through the sweetness. And I like the sweet flavor with the rich lobster bisque. All right, the zabayon is almost done. So I'm gonna take it off the heat. We're gonna strain our stock. So a mesh strainer. We're gonna pour this out. And you can see here, you know, there's not an incredible amount of liquid. We reduced all of these vegetables, all this lobster, all that stock, all that wine into this super flavorful broth. Broth is done, I'm just gonna give it a taste. Oh man, that is crazy. That is like crack. That is so good. I don't wanna drink that. Here we have some raw heavy cream from a local farm. Just gonna put that in here. So now the zabayon back on the heat. And we're gonna finish it up for the dish. See how it's not really, you know, liquid flowing around anymore. So that's done. So lobster scallop quenelle with the reduced lobster bisque. A little bit of fresh lemon juice on top. Just a few drops on each one. And then we have the zabayon. Grate some truffles on this, maybe some spring onions. I don't have any garnish today, but it's gonna be delicious regardless. So we didn't do that in 30 minutes. It actually took about 40, 45. So not too shabby. I mean, I was cleaning up. I wasn't really rushing too quickly, but I don't think this dish can really be made in 30 minutes. You would have to rush the sauce or something and it wouldn't taste as good. So let's give this a shot. This is like everything you could ever want. You have this super savory, really complex lobster bisque. You know, the seafood is a great carrier for all of this. A little bit of sweetness in the seafood. And then you have the sauterne zabayon on top, just the alcohol to bring out the flavor, the honey for the sweetness. It's just you know, an amazing combination. You know, you have the richness of the fat from the egg yolks in the zabayon, the cream in the bisque. This is slamming. This is objectively the best thing I've made on this YouTube channel. And that's probably because, you know, it's a legitimate recipe instead of like trying to make a carnivore dish. It's insane. And it's pretty much carnivore. It really is. I mean, the lobster bisque had vegetables that we filtered out. You know, the seafood quenelle is all meat. It's carnivore. And in the Zabayon, I guess if you don't consider wine carnivore, it's not carnivore, but pretty much carnivore master chef dish. Really tasty, really delicious, amazing. That lobster bisque, it is just so good. You know, obviously I'm not a professional chef, but I've never had something from a restaurant that tasted this good, like ever. This is insane. Obviously you have to refine the technique a little bit, make the quenelle nicer, you know, timing on the sauces, timing on the zabayon, but the flavor combination is really good and it's so tasty. Well, I'm gonna spend the next two hours cleaning up my kitchen, but I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if any of you guys try it out. As always, thank you guys for joining me today. Of course, please like the video, subscribe, definitely share it if you think someone's interested in this recipe. If you guys would like to support me further, check out Frankie's Syringe Meat for high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, as well as frank-stefano.com for a free carnivore diet meal plan. Who knows? Maybe you wanna reach out to Frankie Boy for some cooking lessons. Thanks again for joining me guys. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'll see you on the live stream later.